Hello all you coin aficionados out there and welcome to DC Coin World International Coin Channel. Today we have four beautiful coins for you from Germany or the Federal Republic of Germany and they are the 50 Pfennig coins. And so we have the 1949, the 1950, the 1966 and the 1974 50 Pfennig coins from Germany. And we have, uh, I'll kind of go through why we have the four different ones. Um, but as you can see, the front of each one of these has a woman planting an oak seedling. So let's start with the 1949 version of the coin. So in 1949, the Allied forces um, helped uh, set up a German bank or a bank of Germany. And that was uh, in the hopes of stimulating economic recovery for uh, the Germans after World War II. And you, you have to remember that it was Germany was semi-occupied in 1949 and it was certainly controlled by the Allies. Now, what they did in 1949 was they set up a bank, the Bank Deutsche Lander, and this was the first 50 Pfennig coin. We see the J here, they had four mints J for Hamburg, G for Karlsruhe, F for Stuttgart, and D for Munich. So this was from the Hamburg or the Hamburg mint. You can say it has a kind of a um, tooth inner rim and an outer rim. The two dots over the A for Deutsche Lander. And so when this coin came out in 1949, um, they uh, it was still under uh, essentially Allied occupation. In 1950, Germany established its own bank, and this coin says the Bundesrepublik Deutschland on it, 50 Pfennig, and a D here, and a D is for Munich. And you can see the difference between the two. You see Bank Deutsche Lander, 50 Pfennig, and Bundesrepublik Deutschland, 50 Pfennig here. So they changed the name of the bank, and this was a German-controlled, German-issued uh, coin the 50 Fennig from 1950. I should note that there are some 1950s that have uh, the Bank Deutsche Lander on them, but they only issued about 30,000 of those, uh, and then they switched over to the um, Bundesrepublik Deutschland. So if you find one from 1950 that says this on the back, that's a very valuable coin, much more valuable than this coin. These coins were all... Um, demonetized in 2001, on 1231-2001. You got a jumping um, camera here. And uh, so are no longer uh, circulating value in Germany. Next we have the 1966. And this one, I, I just a lovely coin again, the woman planting the oak seed, the 1966 here. And the 1966 version, um, has uh, something that it that not all the other um, th that was not there after 1974, and that is it has a reeded edge. So we have the the reeded edge, reeded edge for the old ones, and then you'll see when we get to the um, 1974 coin that they had changed the edge by then to a smooth edge. So same uh, exact image on the front. Same exact image on the back, Bundesrepublik Deutschland, uh, D again, for the Munich Mint. And then um, we see that in 1974, again, the same image and the same back, uh, Bundesrepublik Deutschland. But what they did was they changed the uh, rim. So the 1974 rim has a reeded edge. Um, the... Um, 1966 rim has a smooth edge, and they did that in 1972. So in 1972, they went from a uh, reeded edge to a smooth edge coin, but same 50 Fennig, and they kept producing the smooth edge coin until 2001 when the euro was introduced. Uh, these coins aren't very valuable. Um, the ones we're looking at here are probably worth... Um, 50, 60 cents each. Um, you may be able to get some years with different mint marks that are worth slightly more. So in other words, 
Um, if you get, uh, you know, a certain mint mark, say the F mint mark from 1971, it might be worth over a dollar. Um, but in general, they're going to be worth 50, 60, 70 cents. Um, I think the 68. So the F mint marks seem to be a little bit more collectible, and I'm not sure why. But the F mint mark from 1968 might be worth a dollar twenty to a dollar fifty. But in general, not extremely valuable coins. They're all made of the same material, and that is a copper nickel. They weigh 3.5 grams, are 20 millimeters in diameter, and 1.58 millimeters in thickness. And again, they've all been demonetized since December 31st, 2001. That's all we have today for the DC Coin World International Coin Channel.